We begin our coverage with some of that human and emotional side of today's testimony, and it was potent. There's also new evidence, which we turn to right now, including something that may only be slowly sinking in regarding the repeated efforts to sabotage the January 6th certification, which was further evidence of how real and tangible the coup plot was and continued to be, how close it came to being a reality. We were discussing this briefly uh, just before the break. The new headline is that even after the lawyers and Mike Pence rejected Trump's illegal order demanding to steal the election through some sort of magic certification, on that day of the planned certification, January 6th, a top Republican with access to the Trump White House was pushing still to try to secretly jam Pence with a fraudulent document to sabotage the certification. And the evidence is in writing. And it portends a kind of thwarted ambush because the pitch first came in as a mystery plan. Trump ally and Republican Senator Ron Johnson had these papers that we now know involve some sort of thwarted election fraud. So he has the papers in hand. And his aide wants to arrange for the senator to get it from the senator's hand to Pence's hand. Now, this is happening all in that key period right up to the certification. This is the day of the 6th. It's before the attack. And the aide texts, Senator Johnson needs to hand something to the vice president, please. So you can think of this as like, hey, you know, we just need to give something to the VP. You know, before we finish up this whole election certification thing, but it's got to be right now. And it's just something. Just got to hand him something. And maybe we, we don't really want to tell you what it is. That's the weird mood of this text. Well, now let's go back into the evidence released today. The aide for the vice president asks what it was, perhaps well aware of these plots. And then the Senate staffer admits that it's the alternate slate of electors. And you get the response there. Do not give that to him. You have a Republican senator basically in on what sounds like election fraud up to the last moment, trying to put it in Pence's hand, trying to ambush or jam him during the actual certification proceeding. It's damning evidence. And this is stuff we can put together that gives us a greater understanding than we had at the time because of the records. So it was exactly 1237 p.m. on January 6th that this text is coming in. You can see this is Pence entering the Capitol around the same time. Our camera's archive says this happened just about 20 minutes later. You may remember where you were that day. This is before things went off the trail. And yet, the Republican senator you see on the left side of your screen, his top aide is trying to get things off the rail, even worse than what actually occurred, at least inside the Senate among elected officials to say nothing of the violent insurrection, which interrupted the certification. This Republican senator acting on a coup plot up to the last second, all of this even after they knew it was illegal. Did you hear the White House counsel's office say that um, this plan to have alternate electors meet and cast votes for Donald Trump in states that he had lost was not legally sound? Yes, sir. It was Mr. Meadows, Mr. Giuliani, and a few of Mr. Giuliani's associates. Today also had evidence of how even Trump's own fans, volunteers, and diehards reached a point of what in the law is called consciousness of guilt, seeking what's called indemnification, meaning they would be helped if they were sued or worse, charged with something by the attorney general or someone else. That's basically a Trump diehard showing in real time they know what they're doing might get them indicted. And a campaign lawyer in the middle of all this testifying about how as it stacked up and it was clear what was really coming down the pike, then this diehard Trump supporter, mind you, this is after the race has been called. Trump is the official loser of the election. Everyone's getting ready for the transition out here in reality land. And this person had kept fighting on the theory that, yes, you could file some lawful cases and that's fine. And then this person, not a famous person, just someone else inside Trump land, testifying about how that's when he realized he needed out. I just remember I either, I either replied or called somebody saying, unless we have litigation pending that's like in these states, like, I don't think this is appropriate. And I got into a little bit of a back and forth, and I think it was with Ken Cheeseboro, um, where I said, all right, you know, I mean, you just get after it. Like, I, I'm out. I'm out. 
And that's a diehard Trump lawyer who was willing to go down every road, every case, including all of Giuliani's stinking loser cases, but he's out.